for there is no respect of persons with God. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. Folks, listen. Yesterday morning, I was up from 2 till the time my caregiver, Wida, got here. And several times from the time I woke up until my caregiver, Wida, got here, I asked the Lord to send angels. And I asked him to help me, my, to help me himself to not be able to do anything. Until until my we the caregiver get, got here, I asked him to make me unable to do anything except to read my Bible from the time I woke up until my caregiver Weta got here. I I asked the Lord to help me himself, and I also asked him to send angels to do that also. So folks, listen. Whenever you want time with God, that's how to that's how to get no distractions. But here are some things that you should know. Hebrews thirteen says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Romans ten says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Lord's word. Matthew seven says asking you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Matthew 6 says, if, if we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we don't forgive those that have sinned against us, we won't be forgiven. So folks, like I said, yesterday I was up at 2 a.m., so I asked the Lord to help me concentrate on, on His Word from the time I woke up until the time my caregiver got here. I even asked Him to send angels to make sure that I wouldn't do nothing from the time I woke up until the time my caregiver got here unless I needed to do something other than read my Bible. And folks, listen, that is a that is a prayer he certainly answered for me. So folks, listen, whenever you want to spend time reading your Bible, I recommend... <coughs> Sorry, I... Something in my neck. Okay, but anyway... I recommend when you want to spend time with the Lord, I recommend asking Him to make you unable to do anything except read your Bible. And if you use your phone for your Bible, I, I recommend asking Him to make you unable to get calls or texts. I recommend asking Him to make you unable to get calls or texts until you're done reading your Bible unless it's a life or death emergency. Or, a, or something that is very important. But I recommend asking the Lord to make you want to read your Bible right after your favorite right after your favorite device is done charging. That way that way you can read your Bible using your favorite device for Bible reading if you don't use a a paper Bible. For me, I'm visually impaired, so I use an iPhone or an iPad Bible. I prefer my my iPad Bible because sometimes when I'm when I'm busy doing doing anything like reading the Bible or anything else, pardon me if I burp. <laughs> but sometimes when I'm busy doing anything including but not limited to reading the Bible when I'm busy and I don't want bothered 
Take the time, that is the time that people think. Let's call and text and check on Blake. So, that is why I recommend that you ask the Lord to make you want to read your Bible from the time that your favorite device gets charged. I, that is why I recommend that you ask him to make you want to read your Bible the minute your iPad or whatever device you prefer is charged. I'm sorry I'm repeating myself. I just did it that one time to make myself clear. I hope this helps you. Don't thank me.